Meanwhile, here in Rhode Island, Governor Raimondo said earlier this month that domestic violence calls were on the rise with more people staying home. And today, she and other state leaders took part in a virtual town hall to offer support to domestic violence victims and speak about new tools available for anyone in an unsafe situation. My way to Sue's reporter, Courtney Carter, has more details. The governor announcing during the virtual town hall, not only a new website, but what to do if you're in an abusive situation or you know someone that is. Governor Raimondo, state leaders and Rhode Island State Police say the purpose of their virtual hall Thursday morning is clear. People of Rhode Island will look at this panel and see how serious we are about making sure that we have a zero tolerance policy for violence of any kind. Governor Raimondo announcing one of those new resources, the state police's new website, Safe at Home, a place of information for domestic violence victims in need. This comes after an increase in domestic violence during the pandemic, along with stresses like job loss and unemployment. Rhode Island State Police say increased isolation allows an abuser to gain more power and control over a victim. We want you to be safe in your home and domestic violence of any kind is not going to be tolerated. The governor not only mentioning romantic or partner domestic violence, but child abuse and elder abuse. Today, we also learned the state can provide funding for victims to find other places to stay indoors. There is a crime victims compensation program and it provides for emergency funding for relocation. The governor noting this information is not just for those that are being abused, but for those witnessing abuse signs from a neighbor or even a colleague. I spoke to Tanya Harris, executive director of the Rhode Island Coalition Against Domestic Violence, asking her what are those signs to look out for? If you are in a relationship and your partner um, is controlling aspects of your life, uh, if you are fearful around your partner, um, and that can look the same for someone who's watching that on the outside. Now, domestic violence advocates like Harris want to remind victims and the loved ones of victims that their resources are still open and available. Confidential chat lines and hotlines are open 24 seven and Rhode Island courts are still accepting restraining order requests. I'm Courtney Carter, Eyewitness News.